if you've ever taken a second to just kind of sit there and think about all the different accounts within financial accounting, it probably makes your head spin because there's so many different accounts within financial accounting. And I'm gonna say don't stress because it takes a while to memorize all of these different accounts. It, it comes with um, a lot of practice, uh, practicing problems, the theory, learning the concepts in uh, a proper order that doesn't confuse the hell out of you. And um, frankly, I, I even had difficulty learning a few uh, concepts within financial accounting because they throw so much information at you within classes and lectures that it's sometimes hard to kind of categorize it into little subcategories and make sense of it all. But in this tutorial, hopefully I'm going to try to show you how everything can be brought back to the the uh, basic building blocks of accounting elements. And whenever I think about building blocks, I, I always think of amino acids for some reason. And amino acids are, are the building blocks of the human body. They're the building blocks. So these are the building blocks of the human body. So I thought I would kind of use the term building block to talk about the elements that basically build up all of financial accounting and the uh, the building block elements are listed right here they're gonna be known as assets liabilities equity revenues expenses gains losses and other comprehensive income and I'm not going to uh, go into depth about each of these these accounts and uh, defining them and talking about examples because that's going to be covered in future tutorials I just wanted to bring up the building blocks or the elements I should say and talk to you about how they relate to financial statements and also show you that uh, basically any any transaction or account can be can be uh, brought back to one of these these building block or financial accounting elements like for example if I if I were to talk about a car account well a car account is uh, a long-term asset because you are purchasing it and it's going to be on your books for many years and of course a long-term asset is just a subcategory of an asset so it all just kind of flows back to those basic building block elements and of course there's there are nine of these I should actually say there's I'm gonna put as an asterisk that uh, dividends might be considered uh, a tenth element but all the different accounts within financial accounting can be reverted back to one of these uh, financial accounting elements. And what you'll actually notice is that the first three, assets, liabilities, and equity, they show up on the balance sheet. So you're gonna see those accounts on the balance sheet. The following four, revenues, expenses, gains, and losses, you're not gonna see on the balance sheet. You're gonna see it somewhere else, and that is on the income statement. While the last one, uh, it's not really important at this point in time, but it shows up on the, the comprehensive income statement. And we won't worry about that for now because I'll talk about that at a much later date. But just realize that uh, the financial accounting elements are made up of these nine or sometimes ten. I guess you can uh, decide whether uh, you want to have nine or ten in some books. Uh, they use 10 elements and some they use a 9 but uh, basically I'm just trying to like show you that that any account let's let's do another one uh, well let's say that you run into uh, liquidity issues and you need cash so you issue some bonds and of course if you issue bonds you have to pay them back at a later date so this account would be known as bonds payable and we know that if you owe someone money, it's going to be basically an economic sacrifice in the future, and that's known as a liability. So bonds payable is a liability. So they all can be brought back to their basic building block financial accounting elements. So just remember that the elements are the building blocks. Just take that away from this tutorial. Building blocks. Okay, well anyways, I'm going to be talking about um, each of these in depth 
I think I'll be talking about assets in the next tutorial. Don't hold me to that. I can't remember if I have something I need to mention before that. But make sure to check out the next tutorial. Any questions again, leave them in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and thanks for watching. If you have any questions regarding accounting or any other material within our videos, you can tweet us at NotePirate, you can like us on Facebook to receive updates, or to share any quick anecdotes about how our videos might have helped. And like always, thanks for watching us on YouTube.